हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल बेसिको सर्विस नाउ लर्निंग सो द टुडेज वीडियो इज ऑफ प्रैक्टिस असाइनमेंट्स सो दिस प्रैक्टिस असाइनमेंट इज बेसिकली ऑफ सर्विस नॉट डेवलपमेंट एक्चुअली आई रिसीव लॉट्स ऑफ ईमेल्स एंड कमेंट्स फ्रॉम आर बेसिको सर्विस नॉट लर्निंग कम्युनिटी कम्युनिटी मीन्स द सब्सक्राइबर्स दोज हु ऑलरेडी सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल राइट सो दे गिव कमेंट्स ऑन पर्टिकुलर वीडियोज इवन दो दे हैव ई मेल मीन दैट दे नीड सम प्रैक्टिस असाइनमेंट सो दैट दे कैन ब्रश अप देयर स्किल्स सो वॉट आई डिड so i have posted some of the practice assignments on my basic or service now learning website where you can directly navigate over there and you can find out those requirements over there so so now let's navigate to basic or service now learning website so friends this is uh, basic or service now learning dot in website where i am posting the topics uh, whatever the development videos i have posted so i am posting a theoretical part of that so that in case if somebody want to uh, uh lead uh, the content then he can navigate to uh, to this website and he can also navigate the content as well okay so here we have a practical assignment section where we have assignment 1 assignment 2 okay so here i have posted uh, uh, like two assignments till now and i will be posting more assignments uh, in this particular section so here i am talking about assignment 1 so uh, this is basically a practical assignments for those who are learning service now and want to do hands on on service now platform okay so here i have posted uh, seven requirements for incident management application so uh, whatever development uh, you are going to do or you are going to do hands on you will be doing on incident management because it is basically a very basic uh, application itsm application from uh, service now okay so here we have seven requirements so, so what i am going to do here is that i will tell you practically that where you have to implement the requirement so that you have a better understanding as well so what happened that sometime when people read the content so they will not analyze that where we they have to put the values or where they have to do a development right so we have like seven requirements available over here okay this is basically a level 1 requirement this is very basic requirements for doing hands on okay but these requirements will help you to uh, clear your concepts regarding client scripts regarding business rules okay regarding slas regarding emails okay so these four concepts concept will get clear when you implement these seven requirements in your application okay so friends let's move to service now application so friends this is service now instance so what i am going to do i am navigating to incident create new form okay so this is a form okay so what you have to do you have to implement all those seven requirements in this form so i will tell you where you have to develop those functionalities okay as we all know the development is basically developing a functionalities that like uh, uh, implementing some new fields okay changing some values in it okay. so here what you have to do you have to create or modify some existing functionalities so as per as the first requirement when user selects the pending from state field drop down then one new field drop down sub status should be displayed below state field which contains values such as awaiting moderation customer action need info and hardware requested okay so what i want to say is that when user see here yeah, we have lots of status okay so the requirement is when user select pending okay then what happen a new field will get introduced over here below state field that is sub status which will contain the values in a drop down that is awaiting moderation customer action need info and hardware requested okay the second requirement is caller reference field should be auto populated with the logged in user name so here we have a caller field right so when we click on this create new link then what happen this form executed in front of us or displayed in front of us but the caller field is still blank so what i want to say is that you have to implement a requirement that when user click on create new so whosoever the logged in user is her or his name should be populated over here automatically okay so the third requirement is that there should be button name as assign me at the top this button should only display to users those who belongs to selected assignment groups mentioned below assignment group field in incident record okay so what happen there should be a button name assigned me should be displayed at the top of this particular panel where we have submit close shall incident and resolve okay but the button should only visible to user let's say i have selected some assignment group over here let's say i have selected service desk okay so if the person belongs to assignment group 
okay loud in user belong to assignment group then only the button will be displayed to him getting my point or not the point is that if let's say i am a x y z user and i belongs to service desk group okay and if i logged in to this particular incident form then only this particular button displayed to me okay if i does not belong to this service not desk group then that button will not display to me okay so you can implement it button from ui action okay so ui as we know that ui action is basically used to add buttons links context menus right so you can implement a ui action over here and you have to implement that requirement now let's move to the fourth requirement the fourth requirement is this is related to the above requirement so when user clicked on assign me button then his name will get auto populated in the below assign to reference field okay so as i said that you are a xyz user who belongs to assignment group okay and the button will start displaying that assign me okay so once you click on that button then your name will get auto populated over here okay now let's move to fifth requirement add one field to form field name is email this field should display the email of selected user if you have changed the requester then email value should also get changed this field should be read only okay so here you have to create one new field that is email here i i have already this field email for a demo perspective right so you have to also create a same field email over here the field should be read only but see here it is not read only you have to create a field which is read only and it should display the value as per as the caller let's say if i selected the caller as system administrator okay so what whosoever is the manager of uh, system administrator will get displayed uh, uh, over here okay Let's move to another requirement that email notification should be triggered to assignment group assignee and request a incident ticket assignee fills the assignment group and save or submit the incident record and this is the email body okay so if the user fill the information fill the assignment group assigned to and submit this particular incident record the email notification should should trigger to the assignment group assignee and requester okay so the another requirement is also of email notification which is email notification should be triggered to requester when incident record has been created for him okay this incident record has been created and click on submit button okay then one notification should trigger to a requester okay which must be having this email body where the email body says that your incident ticket number has been created will notify you once the ticket get resolved or any action is required from your end and please make a note that incident ticket number requester name should contain the original value okay incident number which is created over here and the name of the requester should be fetched from here okay so you have to make sure the email will contain original values of incident number and a requester name same here okay so these are basically seven basic requirements which you have to implement in service now development instance which brush up your skills as well as help you to understand service now topics okay so you can navigate to this particular application web application basic service now learning dot in here you will find the practice assignments i will post i will be posting more assignments over here okay so here currently we have two assignments i have provided a demo of assignment one later on i will also provide a demo of assignment 2 assignment 1 is basically of incident management development assignment 2 is basically your service catalog development okay so if you want to do hands on on incident management you can use this assignment if you want to do hands on on service catalog you can use this assignment 2 other than this you have lots of topics available over here you can navigate to those topics and uh, see in case if some information is useful for you Okay friends so friend this is all for this video i hope this practical assignments will help you to uh, clear your service now concepts because like some of uh, the friends those who are doing service now trainings as well they want some stuff where they can do hands on they need some uh, requirements which they can implement in uh, a service now instance right so i believe this particular practical assignment section will help them okay so if you are new to my channel you can also subscribe my channels for more videos and for upcoming videos alert thank you friends have a nice day bye bye